Okay, now for the big one. Okay, Game Brain. I picked up a lot from you so far. I think I've got it from here. You really think you're up to it? I think so. Final Fantasy VII is three CDs long. It's awesome graphics and cool gameplay make it the ultimate role-playing experience, but it's not an easy one. Here's what you'll need to know to get you through the game. First thing to remember, as with most RPGs, is to talk to as many people as possible. If you get stuck, try talking to them again. They may have something different to say. You start off in the reactor, and you've no worries until you set the bomb and come across the guard scorpion bomb. Hey guys, don't attack him while his tail is up. Oh, these guys never listen. After you beat them, make sure you talk to your guys on the way out, or you'll be trapped. The next important area is the wall market. The object here is to rescue Tifa from Don Corneo's mansion. To do this, you'll need to start by talking to certain people at the Honey Bee Inn. There are two key items you need to get into the mansion, and three more if you want to be special. The first two are a silk dress and a blonde wig. Then there is sexy cologne, a diamond tiara, and lingerie or bikini briefs. To get into the Honey Bee Inn for the lingerie, talk to this guy. Continue talking to people along the way, and that will guide you through the rest of the level. Finally, change in the dress shop. After you save Tifa and defeat the sewer monster, don't forget to pick up the yellow orb on your way out. Pick up items and cans at the train graveyard and jump into locomotives to move them and get by. Your next challenge will be when you meet Reno at the top of the pillar. He will encase your dudes with a spell. Attack your own guys in order to free them. The next goal is to get into the Shinra headquarters. To do this, you must complete a few things first. First, stop by Eris' house to learn the fate of Farad's daughter. Next, head to the wall market and stop by the store with the machine gun sign. Pick up some batteries from the guy on the left and head to the top of the town and follow the kids to the right. Climb up and use a battery to start the propeller, then jump on it and make your way to the top. To get to the top, take the stairs on the left. It's kind of a long walk, 60 floors, but hey, exercise is good for you. For access to most of the floors, you'll get key cards from talking to people along the way. For the 61st floor, you must sneak past the guards. To get to the 62nd, talk to the guy roaming around. The 63rd's a bit tougher. First, go to this room and touch the panel. Then open these doors and climb through the vent. Open the final door to get to the last item, and then back to the room to trade your items in. For access to the 66, you must get several mid-gear model parts and stop to fix the center model with each part. You'll find access to the 67th in the toilet. Follow the scientist to the 67th floor and pick up the orb by the save point. After you're freed from prison, follow the blood trail to the two big bosses. Equip your guys with magical materia before you head down the elevator for the first boss battle. Magic attacks will cross the divide. After winning this battle, equip Cloud with Restore Materia for the next boss battle. Andrew, Andrew, come on, fetch! Come on! You know there's something wrong with a dog that won't fetch. Make sure you kill these guys first. Now it's your first encounter with that funky little bird known as the Chocobo. There will be a lot more on them later, but for now just talk to them and get your first summon Materia. Come on, baby, do a little dance for me, huh? Woo! Give me the chickadee. Woo! Come on. Come on. Bring the ostrich. Come on. Buy a Chocobo lore materia and some greens from the guy in the barn. Equip your weapon with the materia and run on the tracks outside the farm. When you get in battles that have Chocoboos in them, don't attack the chicks. Defeat the monster and you will earn the Chocobo. You'll need one to ride by the snake in the swamp. After you've climbed out of the mithril mine, head west to Junon. Head to the beach and beat the monster who resides there. His traps can only be beaten with magic. Then it's time to rest. You'll now be rejoined with your friends and receive a materia from the girl. Now head back to the beach. While swimming with the dolphin, space yourself so that when you blow the whistle, 
the dolphin places you on the beam. After your televised march, don't forget to go into the stores and make sure to go into this man's store. On the ship, once you've talked to everyone, go and talk to Eris again. After Costa del Sol, you will reach Mount Corral. To lower the drawbridge, go into the little shack and flip the switch. Right next to the shack has a little secret. But before you leave there, there's another little secret. Follow the tracks that lead to the bottom and just keep on going. After North Corral, you're heading to the Gold Saucer. Make sure to go to Wonder Square first and Battle Square last. You'll know why when you get there. In Corral Prison, head to the house past the save point and then go to the top right. Make sure Barrett has restore materia for this battle. Now you'll be off to the races. Make sure you pick up the red orb before the race. After the race, use your buggy to cross the rivers on your way to the wrecked town. There are two orbs for the finding here. One is in the wreck, the other is on the path out. Head to the top of the village and talk to the wise man. Go to the shop on the third floor and buy some HP plus and MP plus materia. They'll be useful later. Then pick out two other characters to join you and bring them to the wise man. Now head over to the bonfire and make sure to talk to everyone there. You will now be able to enter the large store to face some new baddies. In Niblahem, you can crack the safe on the second floor. But to gain the items inside, you'll have to defeat a big, ugly monster. You might want to come back and do this after you've gained a few levels. Once you defeat him and get the key and the materia orb, go downstairs and get Vincent. Now climb the ladder to get down the cavern and fight the materia keeper. First check out the airplane in Sid's backyard. It looks like a cool ride. You gotta ask Sid if you can use it. He'll probably refuse you, but head back to the house and see if you can find some other way to get it off the ground. Head through the river surrounded by mountains. Once on the other side, chat with a man in the house on the peninsula. Then go to Dio's room at the battle square and get the orb. Now it's time to have some fun. Been on a date lately? Depending on who you've treated best so far, determines who you'll be going out with. But be careful how you act or you might just get a little red in the face. Now's a good time for you to add Yuffie to your crew. You don't need Yuffie to finish the game, but she's kind of fun to have around. Head over to the western continent where you are likely to find her. When you do, defeat her and answer her like so. Then head to the village on her island across the ocean. Talk to the suits in the bar, then open the box in the item shop. You'll find Yuffie behind the dividers in the house by the entrance. If she gets away, check the jar by the bar, and try striking the gong in the temple area for access to the secret door. If she escapes again, go to the bottom left path of the statue mountain to find her. Once you have her, you should rest up and equip her with restore materia for the upcoming family feud. Beat her family who live in the pagoda to get the Leviathan Orb, which allows you to summon the mighty sea serpent. Catch the old man in the maze above and you'll get a healing save point. Catch the old man at the bottom and you'll have made it through the maze. At the clock, go to 6 and catch the man and open the door. Then go to 12 to fight the big boss. First go to the forest and get the red orb by walking up to it. Find the miner by the village and he will help you get the Luna Harp. Place the miners in these places and then dig where their crosshairs meet. Go back to the forest and after you've searched the area at the end, get some rest. The next day go through the opening and then on to completing disc one. In Icicle Inn, get the map. It will help you in the next area. The only way to leave the village is to be rude to the man at the end. Once you evade Elena's punch, 
You can get the snowboard from the kid. Then it's time to shred it up. There are a few cool things to get in the maze at the bottom. The first is an enemy all materia, found in a cave in the center of the map. The second is the Alexander summon spell. First touch the hot spring, then go east of the center cave, and follow the path to another cave. Then touch the blue dude. The third is called the added cut materia. It can be found on two paths in this direction. The last thing really worth getting is the safety pit. Follow this pattern to the cave. Then follow this pattern to the exit. To beat these creatures, use fire. To get by the first cave, you must push the boulder. In the second cave, break the four icicles at the top. To heal before the monster boss, touch the spring of light. After you beat the monster boss, climb up the side of the mountain. To pass the energy fields, wait till they fade. It's all a matter of timing. Go past the reporter and head up to the airship. After you free Tifa, run to the far edge of the cannon. Next, fly off to Medeal and find Day's Cloud. Now head back to North Corral and go back to the bridge. Follow the path to the end to stop the train and get the huge materia. Now it's off to Fort Condor to find the second huge materia. Start by talking to the old man at the table, then talk to another man at the top. When you take command of the army, just keep placing the regular soldiers as close to the battle as possible, forcing your enemies to the bottom. This is the cheapest and easiest way to defeat them. Then see the old man for the orb. Now it's time to get your old friend Cloud back. Head back to the Chocobo farm and buy the Mimic Greens, then go back to Medeal to feed the white Chocobo in the shop. Oh, he likes it when you pet him. Knock on the door in the weapon shop, then pick up the key on the platform in the back. Try the key on the door. If you get caught, be honest and you will be rewarded. Then go get Cloud and Tifa from the hospital. Head back to Junin and find the submarine at the airbase. Talk to the soldier, then go to this passage. Make sure to pick up the items by the sub before boarding. The object here is to destroy the red sub before the time runs out. Repeat the battle until you win, or you won't get the sub. Now pick up the huge materia from the rocket using this code. Find the sub and submerge to get some cool stuff. Take the wise man with you to Shell Village and use the key on the crystal. Wait near the shore of Midgar where you will meet the fleeing weapon monster. Catch up with him in the crater and fight it out. Next, check out the crater on the frozen continent. Then head to Midgar to begin the final battles of Disc 2. Okay, we've made it to Dips 3. You're almost there. Now would be a good time to get into some chocobo breeding. Breeding these little critters can be a lot of fun, but you don't actually have to breed them to finish the game. But if you want the coolest, wickedest summon spell in the whole game, then it's time to do some dirty work. So follow me. First, you need to rent six stalls at the farm. Next, walk on the chocobo tracks by the gold saucer. Here you will find the walking chocobos. You need a male and a female. So win four of them and check them out at the floor. Paths on the lame and standing one, and set the rest free. You now need to do the same thing with the running variety, which can be found by the old Medeal village. Once you have four chocobos, two walking, and two running of the opposite sex, buy some food from the chocobo sage on the northern continent. Make sure to feed your chocobos, then race them to the A-class. Equip your dudes with the steel orb, and pick a fight outside of Chocobo Sage's house. When you see the red monsters, steal their carob nuts until you have three of them. Now it's time for the breeding, so save now in case you have problems. First mate the male walking and the female running, then the other two. You should end up with a green and a blue Chocobo. These need to be opposite sexes because you're going to mate them. It's random, so if it doesn't work for you, reset the game and try again. 
Hey, it's genetics. What do you expect? They need some time to reach breeding age, so race them to the S-class. Then, using your last carob nut, breed the green and the blue until you get a black chocobo. There are a ton of places that the black chocobo can bring you, so take some time to travel and pick up some new stuff. Then head up north and pick up a dashing yellow chocobo that's the opposite sex of your black one up north. Chat with the girl in the corner to race your black one at the gold saucer until you reach the S-class. Stuff them with chocobo sages greens to get them speedy. Then steal some zeo nuts from the goblins up north. Use it to breed your black and dashing chocobo. This will get you the precious golden chocobo, which you can ride to get the awesome Knights of the Round Orb. Also, try racing this bugger, he rocks! Now, we're going to buff up for the final battle. First, get Cloud's Ultima Weapon by defeating the Air Weapon four or five times. You may have to bump him a few times before he'll stop. Then you can fight him. Next, head back to Cosmo Canyon and talk to the dying old man to get Red 13's best weapon. With a gem from the sunken plain, go to the caves in Yuffie's village and put out the fires for even more items. Now head up north to the big guy. This one I'm going to leave up to you. So, Game Break, what do you think? How'd I do? Not too bad, but you didn't cover the final battle. Hey, you have to leave some to the imagination. Besides, now that I have the Knights of the Round Orb, I don't think it'll be too much trouble. And yeah, when will you learn? This is just the beginning. What? Now I'm going to make it a little bit challenging for you. Huh? Let's see you deal with this.